So I just got off the phone to someone not too long ago. And this video is going to be all about taking control of your life. Don't rely on anyone to fix your problems. Take control. Make a move. Don't sit around and wait for no one, yeah? So boom, a couple of hours ago, I got off the phone to someone. I was talking about Black Lives Matter. Talking about police brutality. Talking about oppression in the black community. Quote, unquote. Obviously, I'll give you my side of the story as, well, as to... I've been on the street. I was running the streets like a damn fool. And even then, I didn't feel like I was oppressed. I felt like when I was getting arrested by the police, it's because of what I was doing. And when I changed my life and I got on the right path, I was never harassed by the police. Now, now and then I'll get stopped by the police on a motorbike because I'm doing foolishness. But other than that, when I walk down the street, when I drive my car, I never get stopped. Anyway, during this conversation, this person told me that somewhere in America, I didn't ask them, but it doesn't matter. Somewhere in America, in one particular area, let me just break down something. In certain parts of America, and in, I think, Birmingham. You know, I think in Birmingham, there's certain areas where it's just Asian people, just white people, just black people. But in America, there's certain places, like, for example, LA. You have certain neighbourhoods, just Latinos. Certain neighbourhoods, just black people. Somewhere in America, there was one place where this place was dominated by black people and apparently some of those black people that lived in that area they had the money and they wanted to buy their own property and the government was not allowing them to get mortgages was not allowing them to buy these properties outright whatever let's say it's true guys life is not fair. Those people sat there, moaned and complained. I'm not going to go as far as to say as they protested or whatever, but they wanted the government to do something about it, change their life, whatever, and it. You know what I said when this person was telling me about this? They're telling me, oh, yeah, you know, the people, why aren't they allowed the same opportunities? I'm like, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You know what I said to the person? Me? I'm a natural born troubleshooter. If I'm in a situation where I've, I've been told that I can't buy my own property because of the area that I live in, I'm no longer going to live in that area. See, this is people's problem. They don't want to make any change. They don't want to make any move. They don't want to make any sacrifice. They want to just sit their ass down and be comfortable. Now, I was thinking this and the man confirmed it. We both agreed that the people who lived in that area that didn't have the opportunity to buy their own property because the government said so, or because the government was racist, the reason why they probably didn't want to move is because that's their community. They've got all their friends. They like where they live. It's comfortable. What is more important? Progressing in your life or being comfortable and having all your friends around you and living in peace and harmony? Having fun. If that was me, if I lived, imagine I lived in Edmonton and all of my family and friends lived with me. They're in the same area, just, you know, live within walking distance away from me. If I decide to get off my ass and want to buy my own property, regardless of whether or not they have their own property or they can afford their property, let's say I want to buy my own property, but let's say... All the properties in Edmonton are too expensive. If I want to buy my own property, 
but I have to move 70 miles away, like Northampton, I am going. I am not staying in Edmonton if I cannot afford my property just because I want to be around my friends and family. I will leave. If I don't see them again for a very long time or ever, then so be it. I am not staying in the same place and being stagnant just because I want to be around people and be friends with people. This is people's problem. This is human beings' problem, you know. We're too social. We love to fit in too much. It's good to have friends. It's good to have people around you love. Don't, don't get it twisted. But the people around you should not have an influence on what you do with your life. They shouldn't be able to dictate without saying, I mean, even if their mouth is closed, they shouldn't be able to dictate what you do. You know how many men and women out here, right? They have been given a great job opportunity, but it's somewhere far away. And potentially, in order for them to take this job on, they would potentially break up with their partner. So you know what they do? Man and women, yeah? man and woman, yeah? you know what they do? Ah, oh, fuck it, man. Forget the job. If you do that, you are a fucking idiot. That same person could be fucking cheating on you. For two, sometimes you just got to take the L, man, and just speak to yourself, you know what? I need to progress. I need to move on. I'll fucking move to Mars. If there was, if I found a better opportunity, I ain't staying in the same place just because I want to be comfortable, be around everyone around me. That's dumb. I, that would never, I would never do that. I don't give a fuck. There's people out here, right? They're in a job and they're comfortable. They like all their work colleagues and all that. But it's only paying them 30 grand. If a job came up for 50, you know what, I'd rather stay here because it's comfortable and, you know, I'll get along with my work colleagues. Man, fuck your work colleagues. What I tell you about in that video, my work colleagues were pleading with me, oh, Jay, please, please come, please come to the Christmas work, dude, please come. And I was about to go. And I thought, you know what, fuck it, fuck them. Went to work the next day. Where were you, Jay, man? Oh, we missed you. Along with all the fucking phone calls I got the night before when I was at home and I didn't want to come. Yeah, 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 yeah. Everyone loved Jay. Everyone loved Jay at that moment in time. Three weeks later, my videos get leaked at the construction site. People are taking a piss out of me. The same people, them, who were saying, yeah, why didn't you come? How come I didn't see you there? They're taking a piss, in it? Me, I don't have no royalties to nobody. Everyone needs to take a more selfish approach to life. It doesn't mean step over dead people's bodies and, you know, throw people under the bus. But you as an individual, you need to put yourself first. Stop doing stuff for the sake of other people. Think about yourself first. I always think about myself first. I always put myself first. Because at the end of the day, I came into this planet on my own and I'm going to leave on my own. The day I, when I die, the world is still going to be spinning. Nothing's going to change, unfortunately. I know in my narcissistic brain, I do think to myself, oh, you know, I wonder if the planet's just going to stop and everyone's going to be standing there scratching their head once J.Y. has passed away. In reality, it's not going to happen. I am the most important person in my life. I come first. So, if I've got friends and family all around me or whatever, 
and a job opportunity comes up or something like that, business opportunity, whatever in it, yeah, and it's somewhere upside and it's far away, a million miles away, I am going. I'm not staying put for the sake of being around people. There are actually people on this earth who have stayed stagnant and they haven't progressed simply because they want to stay with their loved one, which is pathetic. No, you got, you got, you got, sometimes you got to just take the L and take the loss and move forward. To stop relying on, this is people talking that they rely on the government. You think I'm going to stay in an area where I feel like there are hurdles and barriers. You think I'm going to stay in that area and just wait for the government to pass some law which is going to take 10 fucking years rather than move. Now these people that are in America that my person that I was talking to mentioned, I don't know where it was in America as I said, yeah? it could be the East Coast, it could be the West Coast. But let me tell you something right now. Whether it's the East Coast, West Coast, whatever, it, yeah, there are places in America where black people are thriving. Atlanta. I believe Atlanta has the most richest black people in terms of ratio, percentage or whatever in America. So if you're in fucking New York or fucking Wisconsin or whatever the fuck you call that place, yeah, Massachusetts, wherever, or fucking L.A., and you feel like because you're black you can't buy your own property. Fucking move to Atlanta. If you live in the north of England where everyone is broke. Works up. Black bull. Yeah, them them kind of funky areas. What's that place? Uh, um, Scumthorpe. If you're somewhere where you feel like there's no job opportunities for you. Get yourself down south to London. There are plenty of opportunities. Or at least move somewhere that is a commutable distance to London. So it don't have to be London. It might be, I don't know, somewhere Hertfordshire, even Luton, Stephen. It's somewhere that's a commutable distance. You don't have to be fucking right slap bang outside of King's Cross Station. But if you're somewhere where you feel like you ain't got no opportunities, don't fucking sit there and wait for the government to change your life, to make things easier for you. You need to take control of your life. You need to do something about it. I don't wait for... This is why I do not care whether or not black people are oppressed. Because I don't allow it to affect me. Because even if there are hurdles and challenges and things are going to be harder for me because I'm black, quote unquote, which I don't believe is true, I don't care. I, I'm not waiting for no one to help me out. I don't look for handouts. I'm not a freeloader. This is why I believe black people don't need reparations. We don't need help. We have no challenges on earth. There's nothing stopping us. The only thing, you know what, do you know what the, the only thing that's stopping black people, and it, forget if you're black, Whatever, in it? You don't matter what colour you are. Yeah? So if you're white, Chinese, whatever, you know the only thing stopping you in this world? So long as you have good health, good physical health, good mental health, the only thing stopping you is you. You are your worst enemy. Well, that famous saying, if there's no enemy within, the enemy outside can't do us no harm. We, as people, are our own worst enemy. Anyway, my eyes are looking super Chinese right now, so I'm going to go to my bed. Stay wise.